A new attempt is underway to rid a local park of an abundance of Canada geese and the unsightly and unhealthy mess that they leave behind. Yeah, the problem is forcing town leaders to get a little bit creative, but will their plan work? Ralph Anati is live tonight with the details. New at 11. Hey, Ralph. Well, thanks very much, guys. We know that the Mount Lebanon, of course, has had an ongoing problem with too many deer in neighboring Scott Township. Well, it's a dilemma involving geese. Uh, right now, it's too soon to say if this latest approach in Scott will meet with any long-term success. If you've been in Scott Town Park lately, running, jogging, or maybe just walking, you've probably noticed that something is definitely missing, and it's not the lack of snow. There has been an abundance of geese in this park in the last few years. Yesterday when we came by, we, we made a point of saying, wow, there's no geese, which is unusual. Suddenly, almost overnight it seems, you might say geese have flown the coop, at least when it comes to the ball fields and parking lots. <coughs> the reason? Lifelike coyote decoys appear to be keeping the geese at a distance. Every morning we'll set them out and we'll put them in a different position so that geese don't get so they don't recognize that they're in the same spot all the time. It's been an ongoing battle between Scott Township officials and the geese as they try to keep geese out of the park, mainly because of what they leave behind. But so far, the coyote trick seems to be at least a partial success. We actually got two calls today, I believe, uh, to the police department, the coyotes in the park, and I, I did inform the police department before I set them out that I was putting decoys out in the park, so the public does not have to worry about it. It's a different story, however, in the park's fenced-in swimming pool, where the geese look like they're still having it their own way. Now, in addition to the coyote decoys, something else will be making its park debut. Basic shark or uh, gator decoy um, has red LED eyes that light up. Um, it floats on top of the water. Um, it's supposed to scare geese away. That's what it was made for. Tomorrow morning, these are going to go in the pool. You got two of these. Right? I have two of these for the pool. And we have some blow up rafts that look like sharks that are also going in a pool. Now, time will only tell if uh, these things will work. Of course, this isn't the first time that uh, Scott Township has tackled the geese problem. You may recall just about three years ago, Township commissioners hired an out of state company to try to scare the geese out of the park. The geese disappeared for a while, but before long, they were back at their old stomping grounds again. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti. KDKA TV News.